All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be build update number two on my Team Durango DESC-10. This is Team Durango's newest 110 scale short course truck with some serious eighth scale routes. Now, this build has went very quick, and being only on build update number two, I've actually got all of the electronics installed in the short course truck, and this video I'm gonna go over what electronics I chose, and also, the only other things I have really left to do is to go ahead and um, glue up some wheels and tires and paint up a body. And I'm going to show you all of those options that I chose for this short course truck. Now, being that the DESC-10 can take either a large 550 or an 8 scale system, I decided to go ahead and go 8 scale on this buggy short course truck. And with that, I, I wanted to do some serious power, and I went to my friends over at Team Orion to pick up some of their new electronics. Now, Team Orion is probably one of my favorite um, tent scale electronics, and I went ahead and picked up their Vortex R 8.1 Pro censored brushless speed control. This thing is a 180 amp speed control and capable of 2 to 4S LiPo uh, batteries. So. Um, I picked this one up. This one has a very small footprint, which is very nice for all sorts of different applications. And I have a separate unboxing video of this. If you guys want to check that out, that'll be in the video description. Uh, on over to the new Team Orion VST2 Pro um, 1 8 scale sized motor. This is a 4 pole 690 sized brushless censored motor. Uh, this is the 2100. KV version. Huge monster motor and I really like this thing so far. Lastly with the uh, servo I went with a good old tried and proven BLS 371 SV from Futaba. This thing cranks out right about 264 ounce inches of torque and a speed transit time of about 0 0.10 seconds. So pretty good for this short course truck. I think I've used it in several different applications and it has plenty of torque even for a heavy short course truck like the Team Durango right here. Now as far as how everything installed, um, this thing, God, this thing is pretty heavy already, but uh, the motor, awesome. I didn't do a traditional uh, RC Network wiring job. I left these things kind of long here because I want to be able to use these in different applications. So kind of have them just tucked down for now. Sensor wire on over, 15 tooth um, Mod 1 pinion gear, uh, just to give me a baseline. There you see the R8.1 Pro, uh, awesome speed control, all aluminum all the way around. Has a huge four capacitor little bank right here that you can mount um, elsewhere and also a huge carbon look switch right there. So um, all in all, great electronics. Uh, the BLS 371 servo mounted straight in. I used a ProTech low profile aluminum horn. It is clamping uh, mounted on there pretty decent and you can kind of see the steering angle uh, worked out pretty good with just adding a little spacer here on the one side. So all in all great um, setup for the electronics. Now one thing I did notice when I was putting the battery tray in, the Velcro straps that are included with the Team Durango kit is only about a 2S sized strap of Velcro. So if you want to run a 4S like I do, you will have to get a little bit longer Velcro straps right there. You see it's pretty much uh, um, Velcroed in and you're only gonna be able to fit like a 2S, maybe a 3S at the most, 5,000 milliamp. But uh, all in all, great electronics choices. I think I can't wait to run that new uh, 8.1 Pro from Team Orion. Now with uh, wheels and tires, of course, this uses a 17 millimeter hub and there's not too many options out there for 17 millimeter wheels. So I went to my friends over at DE Racing to pick up their Trinidad 17 millimeter wheels. These are intended for the SC8, or if you happen to be running 17 millimeter conversions on like your Slash 4x4, uh, those type of vehicles. So huge wide opening right there for 17 millimeter hub, should mount right on. With that, I do want to run this thing outdoors, so I went to my friends over at ProLine to pick up a set of their whole shot 2.0s. Super wide tire, nice little pin tire, and I did choose the M3 compound right here uh, just to give me a little bit um, more runtime or 
uh, tire wear time, so to speak. So these are the soft version, also available on a super soft. Lastly, the body. What body am I gonna run? Well, I've used so many different short course bodies out there that I just went to my old favorite, and hopefully this will show up on film, uh, but this is just the standard clear Flowtech body for most short course trucks. So I didn't go with the branded one like the Tundra or the Raptor. Um, saved me a few bucks and was able to uh, get this thing pretty inexpensively and gonna put on a nice crisp new paint job on this thing, get it mounted up to that new Team Durango truck. So, well guys, that is the plans. That is build up date number two. Hopefully when you guys check out the next video of this truck, it'll be done. So stay tuned for that. If you have any comments or questions about any of the items, check out the video description on down below. It'll have all links to each of the items that I chose and some information about those items as well. Well guys, if you haven't already done so, check out my Facebook page, lots of detailed photos. I released the motor um, photo and also the ESC a while back. You guys may have missed it already, so check out that. Throw up a like up on the page, that way you'll get uh, um, news and different items that I'm working on here at the RC Network. Well guys, that's it. Comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys. Over now.